All around the world the use of animals in circuses is under increasing criticism. In some countries, including Austria, Israel and Singapore, governments have already banned the use of wild animals in performances. In 2006, undercover investigators from the Captive Animals Protection Society, CAPS, visited circuses in Ireland to examine how the animals were kept and how they were being used in the ring. A British vet, experienced in the welfare and behaviour of captive wildlife, accompanied our investigators on some of these visits. We found that some animals are transported from across Europe, then around Ireland for most of the year, chained by the legs, caged, confined to lorries, with only a few minutes exercise in the big top each day. At the time of our investigation, 102 animals were used in Irish circuses. These included six elephants, four tigers, 38 horses and ponies. There was even a rhinoceros, hippopotamus and a giraffe. This video is a result of CAP's investigations of Irish circuses since 2003. Elephants are one of the most social animals on the planet, living in large family groups, travelling 25 kilometres each day across a range of environments. Yet, Look at how they are used and housed in the circus. Here they are made to perform tricks that are not only unnatural and demeaning to us as humans as much as themselves, but also physically dangerous to the animal. Acts such as handstands and headstands put on natural and dangerous weight on the legs and can cause long-term health problems. This elephant is made to move her head violently from side to side and trash her trunk around as if it was dancing. These kinds of entirely unnatural movements run the risk of damaging muscles, nervous system and the spine. The vet witnessing these acts said that these are not normal behaviours for an elephant. They represent potential injury and suffering and should be stopped. Elephants are not meant to play the harmonica. Eat candy floss. or walk across podiums. The animals are in the ring for just a few minutes. The rest of their time is spent chained by their legs in a small tent. If they are lucky, they have access to a small grassed area. But even here there is little for them to do. No trees to forage through or rub themselves against. No legs or mud pools to wallow in. And just one other elephant for company. It is no wonder that these complex, intelligent animals show patterns of disturbed behaviours, such as bobbing their heads up and down, or weaving from side to side. It is not only elephants who show disturbed behaviour, caused by the restrictive and unstimulating confinement of circus life. Just look at this camel. And this horse. This elephant Max has a deformed leg, yet he is still made to perform in the ring, lifting people on his tusks as seen here in 2003. And again, three years later, in 2006. Not surprisingly, given their sheer size, elephants are a species that pose a particular risk to humans. Since 1990, over 70 people have been killed and 140 more injured by elephants in circuses, zoos and other captive environments around the world. At two circuses, we saw children sitting on or standing next to elephants, having their photos taken. It doesn't take much imagination to realise what would happen if the elephant suddenly moved or knocked a child with their trunk. Barriers around the ring wouldn't stop a frightened horse, let alone a four-ton elephant.